about to leave Already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking Hey, hey, welcome back Hey We are headed to Brenham from Lake Conroe Brenham is our old hometown You see all that gray? Y'all have a lot of gray So my grandma was gray here and here And I'm pretty sure that I am too Based off of that I should part my hair in the middle and I'd probably do pretty well, but I really like my hair parted to the side, so I have to deal with that gray when it starts growing out. Point being, mama's going to get her hair done. I'm happy. <laughs> I need it. Um, so that's why we're headed to Brenham. We're also going to Ryan's grandma's. I should have videoed this the other night. It was pretty funny. So Ryan's grandma's 91 and we had all our homeschooling curriculum sent there. Y'all, it arrived in 17 boxes. No joke, 17. So, if you're wondering, homeschool for 10 kids, what that looks like, 17 boxes. So, anyway, we drove to Brenham the other night just to help get those boxes inside. I did not want her lifting those and I knew she'd try, so we got there. Just in time where Ryan was helping the UPS man and the boys unload and bring inside. So now we are going to go back over to his grandma's house and I'm going to go through all the schooling stuff with the kids and label everything. I have name labels. Um, I just like to label all the kids' books so that it's easy to keep up with who's is who's. Some kids are in the same grade as far as math or language or things like that and it gets confusing. So, I want to get all the ducks in a row there, and then we are just going to keep our homeschool stuff stored at his grandma's for now until we close on the RV park, because we definitely don't have room in the RV right now for that many books, and I'm planning to have a bookshelf to keep them on in one of the buildings at the RV park, which will be nice to have a little more space. So, we are still closing on the RV park soon. We are waiting still to get that matter settled about the land. The lawyer is working on it, so I don't know how long that'll take. It's a matter of paperwork, but we're still hoping to close within a few weeks. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Hopefully, my hair will be looking better here in a little bit. Okay, this is one of our favorite lunches to take on the go. Made it to Ryan's grandma's Uncrustables and chips. Is that one of y'all's favorite on the go lunches? We do normally do fruits and veggies with every meal, but not always when we're on the go. So I like having a simple, easy something to pack. Those Uncrustables are frozen, so we can just take them out of the freezer after breakfast and bring them in the van to wherever and those have been great for like national parks and then just random days like today when we're out running errands it's not easy necessarily to go pick up food for that many that can take a lot of time so that's a good fast easy way to do it with a big family look at this book mimi has it says things your mother always told you but you didn't want to hear <laughs> that's hilarious one of them is the secret of happy living is not to do what you like, but to like what you do. All right, give us another one. Um, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. We have committed the golden rule to memory. Now let us commit it to life. Okay. Let's see. Let's flip back. The only two lasting bequests we can give our children, one is roots, the other we. Roots and wings. That's good. The trouble with trouble is that it starts out as fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one to end on. Remember that, kids. The trouble with trouble is it starts out with fun. <laughs> Speaking of trouble, do you think I would get in trouble if I ate some of Mimi's food? Because uh, you forgot to bring yourself lunch. I forgot to lunch. bring my food. <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't mind. Oh, yeah. Hey, I have mm -hmm. my little Mickey Mouse pouch I brought myself. <laughs> I mean, even though I'm 44, I am still her grandson. That's true. <laughs> okay, let me show you all these boxes for our homeschooling. Here's our 17 boxes, and I think we actually have a few more coming. So, pretty funny. 
Here are my name labels. I love these things. I got every kid, little labels, big labels. I've had these for several years and added on kids. So the labels I have left for the boys are a little girly. Sorry, boys. They just have to deal with that. <laughs> I don't think I told you yet, but something I'm super excited about this year is, um, so there's a, a Becca is the homeschool curriculum that we mainly use. We've tried different kinds over the years, but I felt like that one just, I don't know, teaches our kids the best. And a lot of our older kids like to be more self-taught than very hands-on from us. And with having as many kids as we do, having some self-taught ones is kind of nice. So I feel like a Becca probably is the most thorough that we've used that allowed them to be a little more self-taught. However, we have gotten to things in both language and math that I do not remember and that Ryan doesn't necessarily always remember. So there is a thing called a Becca Academy. We didn't want to do all the subjects because we didn't feel like we need to and that would have made it our school days really, really long. So we chose to do math and language this year. So they will actually have online videos of math and language teachers and stream those. And so I'm thrilled for them to have extra teachers this year. And then if they have questions, obviously they can still ask us, but I think that will help them a little bit more. And um, time-wise it's, Definitely hard to teach this many kids by myself, especially with Ryan. Well, he's helped some over the past couple of years traveling, but he'll be going back out, you know, doing RV repair and stuff. So um, I will need a little help. So to have those virtual teachers will be very, very helpful. Um, definitely excited about that. Kids are excited about it as well. Okay, I am about to go get my hair done. Manning and Tapestry are gonna put <laughs> still stuff in stacks of who they think it belongs to. I gave Manning Ryan's phone with a, Be a Becca's website so he can check what's for what grade. We got all the little kids done. Those were a little more self-explanatory and easy. So yeah, that's a lot of books to go through. <laughs> all right, I got my hair done. Good fall color and no more gray for now, so that's good. Manning texted me while I was there and said, okay, we think we have everybody in the right stack for homeschooling, can we start labeling them? I said, go for it. So hopefully they got everybody's done. I'll go in here and see. Okay, so um, this is Liberty, Cherish, and Tapestry, and then there's Manning and Rhythm. Mine's the back row. Goodness gracious, alive, that's a lot of books. Okay. And then, um, All right, this so is questions. the things we don't have. Manning's test and test key books for science, and my quiz book for science, and my big pre-algebra book didn't come. That, like, really big one. Yes, your pre-algebra book was on back order, but I think it shipped. I okay. saw today. We got three of these. Interesting. Okay. Do you want to give these and to Cherish and Top Street because they haven't done these I'll yet? Do you know um, who's, who you got this for? No, I will figure that out. Okay, um, and these are extra. So, um, uh, what is it? So it's Grammar One. Oh, right. Those are Cherishes because I accidentally member got her grammar one and I ended up ordering oh, her language yeah. C, so we'll save those for and her for next year. A, an extra language B quiz okay. and test book, because Rhythm and Liberty both have one. They sent 30. Okay. And then there's an extra one of these. Rhythm and Liberty already have one, and Liberty and Rhythm already have one of these. So they sent three of all of these. Interesting. Okay. And these were confused about because... Like, Basically don't know whose they are. 
Yeah, well, they're both... one of them is mine. Okay. It's, it's spelling two and spelling All right, one. We'll figure it out. All right. Thank y'all. You're welcome. Okay, we're all nice and organized. Everybody's stuff is in their own boxes with their names on the side. And then Tapestry made me this little list and manning of stuff we're missing. The chances of something being missing I figured were quite high. So I did pretty good for I was literally racking my brain. <laughs> And then we had to call our bank and get our limit up for the day just to be able to place the order for all these books. So anyway, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, we got it organized. Glad my kiddos helped me out there while I went to get my hair done. And I'll order the rest of the stuff we need and we'll be good to go for school. Thanks, Manning and Tapestry. You're welcome. You're welcome. Y'all like doing that, didn't you? Yes, I love organizing. Angel wanted to be all up in the school stuff. Yeah. Definitely. They're my bookworms, my book lovers. I will read every single person's books. Trust me, every single one of their books. I know. Except for like the math books and grammar books. But I'm you'll even crazy. read like their health and science, oh, yeah. right? Yes, definitely. I'm <laughs> not Absolutely. that, yes. like, you know. Who wouldn't? Even? Yeah, you're, you're a little more balanced with it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it is actually a couple days later. We kind of left off the video and forgot we were in the middle of one. But we are headed to Ikea. Um, we're gonna get a new sofa cover for the kids' sofa in the bunk room. It's pretty disgusting at this point. And our other one's like fake leather in the living room. I have loved that because you can just wipe it down. So we are going to it switch out the fun thing is they have different colors so we've had it till we're gonna switch to orange also another benefit of switching to orange instead of till the till one is more popular so it's more expensive it's like double the price of the orange one so we will get a nice low-cost orange one and have a new fill and look to the room which would be fun Ikea it's pretty easy not to buy extra stuff when you live in an RV so we have our orange sofa cover and the tooth fairy picked up some treats for the three kids who have lost teeth um, we sent the kids to the bathroom all the girls together the boys together and picked up some cookies and chocolate from the tooth fairy all right, we made it back to the RV and got the new sofa cover on, some new pillows, ottomans. Everything was kind of breaking down in here in the bunk room, so I'll show you how it turned out. It is pretty cute there, nice and fresh. So here's the whole room, and I will show you something funny. So when you have a kid's craft, ours is like times 10 or however many kiddos we have doing the craft. So. Here are all the kids' cute birdhouses they made the other day. All right, hope y'all are doing well, and we'll see you next time. We'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs> y'all like the new sofa? Yeah. <laughs>